Hey dudes, it's Whitney and Chloe here and welcome back to the Doodle Dudes channel. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to remove burrs, foxtails, and other stickies from your doodle's coat. Let's get into it. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more doodle content. So just yesterday, we took a short day trip to the mountains for a lovely day of just hanging out. Well, Chloe was ecstatic. We were at a little private campsite and Chloe got to roam around and explore to her heart's content. Unfortunately for her, by the end of the day, she was just covered in stickies. I'm not sure exactly what they were, but whatever they were, they were in her hair really good. And as much fun as we were having, it really meant that somebody was going to spend a lot of time getting them out. And I really wasn't looking forward to that. Sure enough, when we arrived home, Chloe started to gnaw on her legs and feet. I knew right then and there that we needed to get those stickies out of her right then. So I grabbed a few key items and we headed straight towards the free and totally awesome self-serving grooming salon that is available to the residents of my apartment community. Now, I had previously read that cornstarch was really great for removing burrs from a coat. I only recently discovered the magic of cornstarch for detangling and dematting, and the last time that Chloe was this badly covered in stickies was way before my daughter was born, so I was eager to try it out. So I propped Chloe up on a table and we got started. I started with Chloe's legs and feet since they were bothering her before, but then I quickly realized that there were way more stickies in Chloe's coat than I had expected. At that point, I wondered if it was even worth my time trying to get them all out. So I had to make a decision. Should I try and save her coat or should I save myself the time and energy and just shave her down? Now, part of the reason why I run this YouTube channel and this website is because I have a passion for sharing information with my fellow doodle owners. And I do know that some of you would absolutely die if your doodle ever had to get shaved down. So I decided to invest my time and save her coat. Now it did take me a few minutes to understand exactly what I was doing, but eventually I came to realize exactly what was most effective at getting these little buggers out. But first, what you'll need is a generous amount of cornstarch, a metal comb, and optionally a force blow dryer. If you decide to give your doodle a bath afterward, you can also have shampoo, towels, and whatever else you need for a bath on hand. Here's the process. Now, first and foremost, I should let you know that this process needs to be done when your doodle is completely dry. Trying to get these things out of a doodle's wet coat will not work, trust me, and will only cause you a ton of frustration. Now, following line brushing logic, start at the bottom of your dog and work your way up so you're not constantly fighting tangles and stickies. For example, you would start at the feet and work your way up the leg. Then grab a generous amount of cornstarch and rub it into the coat at the target area. Take your metal comb and get it all the way down to the skin at the target area. Comb and watch as the stickies slide right out. Keep working at it and be sure to use your hands and fingers to feel for hidden stickies. difficult but it is very tedious 
To comb my way through the entirety of Chloe's body took me about an hour. After I thought I got them all, I then used the force blow dryer, which helped me to blow out the excess cornstarch from her coat, as well as help me to see any extra stickies that I had missed. I gave Chloe a nice thorough bath afterward. During bathing, I was able to see yet more stickies still lodged in her coat. There was even one poking into her skin, so I'm very glad that I caught that in her coat. I really couldn't believe, I really couldn't believe that I had missed that many. As mentioned earlier, be sure that your doodle is completely dry when trying to remove the stickies. As I was bathing Chloe and kept seeing these stickies pop up, they were very hard to remove. Luckily, there were only a handful left in her coat at the time, but just keep that in mind. After her bath, we blow dried again, and now she's looking spick and span. So there you have it. Let us know in the comments below if your dude has ever gotten into stickies like this and what you've done to remedy the situation. I should also take this time to promote the idea that a shorter haircut on an active doodle could save you a ton of time, energy, and frustration. Back when Chloe was an only child, we used to keep her hair short all year long for this very reason. We were always going out hiking and camping, and Chloe's perpetual short haircut was a lifesaver. Anyway, whether you're brand new around here or have been with us since the beginning, thanks for sticking with us. Thanks so much for watching, create a wonderful day, and don't forget to subscribe for more Doodle content. Later, dudes!